What's up, party people? You've read it right in the title. We are going to test out if LumaFusion is able to handle 8K footage. And this is a pretty big deal because not even Final Cut Pro 10 is able to handle 8K or even 6K footage. Therefore, because I don't own a 8K camera, um, I've downloaded a NASA sample footage. It's three minutes of 8K with it's like about three gigabytes uh, file size and it's already processed. So this, this is huge. And uh, I've loaded it onto my iPad via AirDrop and saved it in the files because iOS itself is not able to playback 8K. And uh, while I saved it in the files, I was able to access the files in LumaFusion and place it into my timeline. And this is what happened. So at first we will start to play back the 8K footage uh, in the timeline mode. And as you see, it's kind of fluent, a bit shaky, but that's not a problem for 8K. This is wonderful. Let's try it again with the full screen mode. And in full screen, you won't see a difference between 8K or 4K, so it's very fluent. It's just amazing how powerful LumaFusion is. This is going crazy. Let's try to cut footage. Oh, and simple cut works. Are we able to play it back? We will see. And it's even playing back, but not perfect. So guys, as you see, LumaFusion is able to play back and cut 8K footage. Um, you even can change the size, but the problem is you're not able to um, color grade it or do certain effects on it. And also the playback is very slow. Sometimes it always needs time to process. So LumaFusion is not ready yet, but once uh, iOS will support 8K, I'm pretty sure LumaFusion is able to handle 8K very well, even with a old iPad. So I'm pretty excited and we will see what the future brings to us. Don't forget to give this video a thumb up and subscribe to my channel and we will see each other in the next video. Till then, bye. <laughs>